welcome viewers to another episode on ASOG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at the November 2022 Mathematics paper 2. So in the previous episode we covered the question 8. So let us move to question 9a. The diagram shows a triangular piece of land ABC. Given that AB equals 1 km, BC equals 2.5 km and AC equals to 2.8 kilometers. Calculate the angle ABC, so which is basically uh, this uh, angle, then uh, Roman numeral 2 area of the triangle ABC, then Roman numeral 3 shortest distance from B to AC. Then of course B solve the equation 2 cos theta equals negative 1 for um, the range where theta should be greater or equal to 180 but less or equal to 360. Then, of course, we've got the common question, which is simplify uh, this uh, expression. So, when you look at the first question, which is Loman numeral 1, where we are required to find the, uh, this angle. The first question that we need to ask ourselves is, is this a right angled triangle? If the answer is no, you can't use uh, the three uh, famous trigonometry ratios, which are basically Sokatoa. So, we need to uh, think of either sine law or cosine law. Now, sine law is used when uh, basically you are given two angles. So, we have this triangle, which is A, B, C. So, we need to be given two angles and uh, basically one side. So, this side uh, should be this side or this side. Otherwise, you uh, basically not uh, use it. Or basically, you are given two sides and a non-included angle. Okay, that's a basic. So if you're given this side and this side, then you you you're not supposed to be given uh, this side, but n of this angle, then you'll be able to use it to solve uh, basically the answer. Then uh, basically we have of course now the cosine law, where basically you are um, given in the case of all three sides, you can use it to uh, solve for the angles. Or basically, you are given two sides and the included angle, then you can still use it. So, in this case, we are given all the three sides. So, we are going to go with uh, basically the cosine law. So, let us use the cosine law in this case to uh, solve for angle ABC. So, the first thing that we need to know is uh, basically we need to label with these with small letters. So this is a small let A, the side opposite the angle A. Then we have, of course, this is basically small b, the side opposite this angle. Then we have this one, which is C. So what this tells us is uh, basically based on the cosine law is basically B square is equal to basically A square plus C square, then minus 2AC multiplied by uh, basically uh, cosine this angle which is the angle a b c the angle we are looking for basically so based on that uh, basically what we want is to find the value of this angle so what can we do we know the value of b what's the value of b the value of b is this one so we have basically 2.80 we square it equals to basically a what is a a is 2.5 we square it then plus 1 square, which is C, then minus 2 multiplied by a base card. We have 2.5, then multiply by 1, then cos basically this angle A, B, C we are looking for. Then what we do is basically we are collect the like terms, so we're going to have basically 2.8 square. Then this one crosses the equal sign becomes minus 2.5 uh, square. Then minus this one, 1 square equals basically minus 2 multiplied by 2.5. Then multiply by 1. Then multiply by a cos a b c. This is what will be the case. Then uh, basically since we are looking for that angle, we are going to have basically 2.8 square minus 2.5 square minus 1 now will be equal to basically what we do is we divide by this both side so we're going to have this side minus 2.5 multiplied by 1 
is equal to uh, basically cos uh, angle A, B, C, like that. So once we do that, uh, basically, what we can do in this case is we can uh, basically simplify this. When we simplify this, we're going to end up with basically minus uh, 0 0.118 equals cos A, B, C, that angle. But remember, we are looking for basically angle A, B, C. So, what we do is we multiply by the inverse of cos to remain with this angle we are looking for, which is A, B, C. So, we are going to end up with basically cos inverse, then minus 0 0.118, like that, is equal to angle A, B, C. We use our calculator to find this value. So, just say shift cos, then open bracket, then we include the negative. When we include the negative, we are looking for this value. If we leave out the negative, we are going to be finding this value, which is the other side. So make sure that you include that negative. Once you include that negative, you are going to find this angle to be basically uh, 96 point, basically 7, 7, 6 which to one decimal place it will be nothing but uh, basically 96.80 degrees as in our answer so here the answer is 96.8 so take note if you leave out a negative the answer you're going to find here this this answer will be basically 83.2 which is the answer here not here so if that's the case, use a positive, you need to subtract this one from 180 to arrive at 96.8. Take note of that. Okay. So let us move to a basically Lomani Numelo uh, 2, which is the area of the triangle. So let me move to uh, where the space, but I'm going to maintain uh, the triangle, which is uh, like this. So this angle we just found it to be 96.8 degrees. So the area of a triangle given the angles obtaining two sides, if two sides are given to you, this side and this side, then you have this angle. To find the, uh, the area of the triangle is just basically half multiplied by in the two sides subtending this uh, angle, which is in this case, we have this is C, then this is A. So it will be A multiplied by C, then multiplied by sin in this angle which is angle a b c like this so what we have is half multiply by in basically a is in 2.5 then multiply by one then multiply by sine 96.8 so make sure that this angle you get it correct if you mess up on this angle then you mess up everything so what happens in this case when you use your calculator you're going to find 1.24 kilometer square as basically the area so once you do that it's still a basically easier for you to answer this question let us move to question e, loma numero three of a so we need to calculate the shortest distance from b to a c so let me just come here so what you are saying is what's the shortest distance moving from B to C? So is that so shortest distance happens when this angle is in 90 degrees. So that's what we are looking for. So we shall call this value to be basically in X. So what we know is basically this distance divide this uh, triangle into two parts. We shall call this to be uh, A1, then A2. Then from here to here, this is D1. Then from here to here, this is D2. So basically, how can you find the area of a triangle? So the area of the triangle is basically just equal to half multiplied by base times the height. So in this case, X is the height. So to find the total area of this triangle, which is A, is equal to basically area 1 plus area 2. What is area 1? So area 1 is this distance multiplied by the height, which is X. So it will be half multiplied by uh, Height which is x, then multiply by d1, then plus basically 
we have half multiplied by again basically x the same height which is this one then d2 then this is the total area so area is equal to basically when we factor out what is common this one and this one is common and half is half then multiply by x times d1 plus d2 so what is d1 plus d2 d1 plus d2 is this all entire distance which is in we shall call d so what we have is area is equal to basically half multiplied by x times d we are looking for x which is in the shortest distance so we just cross multiply so it will be 2m is equal to x multiplied by d so to find x we divide by d both sides so x is equal to basically 2a over d so this is what you need to know remember the shortest distance generally is given by x or x is equal to 2 times area that we found previously multiplied by this base distance which is s s is the d so i want you to understand the logic behind before i give you the answer so basically to answer now the shortest distance which is x we just say basically our uh, area area will find it to be 1.24 km square divided by uh, basically this distance which is 2.8 then x is equal to basically nothing but 0 0.8 uh, 7 km as in the shortest distance so if you can remember the formula we just proceed from here that the shortest distance is equal to 2 multiplied by area over this side but I wanted to give you the background so that you know how to solve uh, this uh, question so basically that's how you get uh, these uh, basically 9 marks so let us move to question E B. Solve the equation 2 cos theta equals negative 1 for uh, this uh, basically range. So what we do in this case is basically 2 cos theta equals basically negative 1. Then we divide by 2, we divide by 2. So cos theta equals basically negative 0 0.5. Then we are looking for theta. So we multiply by the inverse of cos both sides. So we are going to end up with cos inverse then negative 1.5. 0, 5. Now, because this is a negative, so what this tells us, we are looking for the a quadrant where cos is in negative. Remember, all students take chemistry. So, but this theta should be a greater than 180, but less than 360. So, we are looking for the bottom quadrant. So, which quadrant in which are cos is in negative so you see in this a uh, third quadrant so meaning our theta will lie in this uh, area in this range this is where it will lie but uh, we are going to start from this above 180 that's what it means so what we are going to do is uh, instead of uh, finding this to be theta we shall call it uh, alpha is equal to basically cos inverse of positive 0.5 so because we are going to restrict ourselves in this quadrant, then uh, we can ignore the negative. So the negative, this negative guides us in which quadrant are we going to uh, add or subtract. So what we proceed, we go and look for this alpha using our calculator. So shift cos 0 0.5, we are going to end up with basically 60 degrees. So this 60 degrees, what it tells us are basically because if theta is starting from this, so we are going to add here so meaning theta now becomes uh, 180 which is the minimum starting point plus this alpha because this is the part in which cos is negative so we're going to end up with 180 degrees plus 60 the one that we found it to be alpha so which will give us basically 240 degrees as in the value of basically theta which is this one so theta will lie in this uh, range remember it's only one where cos is in negative so this is very important that you know at uh, this uh, principle so basically this is how you answer question b so let us move to question c on question c basically we're just uh, simplifying so remember simplify means the same as evaluate or complete so basically this is a uh, much more easier so we look for what is in uh, Common, so we know that um, this uh, y and this y can cancel, 
then we know that x into x square is x, then x and x cancels. Then uh, we remain with it, that one, then what we do is, we can say um, 8 into uh, 32 is basically 4, 8 into 40 is basically 5. Then we know that um, basically we have in uh, 42, we can divide by uh, 2, we are going to have 21, then in 56 we are going to have basically 2, then which is 28, then we can divide by 7, so this is basically going to be 4, then this is going to be 3, then uh, 4 and 4 cancels, then you have 3 multiplied by y by z, we are going to end up with basically 3y z, then over uh, 5, because here we only have 5, so this is basically the simplified uh, answer that we get. So basically this is how you answer this question to get uh, the optimal max. So please join me in the next episode when we'll be looking at question 10 extensively. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this uh, video to be very helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and if you are new to this channel, subscribe to our channel. Once you go to our channel, we'll discover that we've got uh, so much content for you. You'll notice that we've got uh, mathematics, uh, physics, and chemistry. We've also got a section that is uh, arranged by topics. You could be uh, finding challenges with a specific topic. This is the best section for you.